All augments this game move to random rounds. Oh no. Alright, so I just played a game, a Lune reroll with a Umbral spat, and I just want to say, don't play around Umbral in this patch, unless it's too Umbral. That's pretty much all you like. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Don't don't play vertical Umbral. It's not it's not really that good. Like uh, I I don't know. I feel like Umbral just uh, I don't think the trait is bad. I just think the units don't synergize with each other. Maybe the champions need slight buffs, like Alone probably. Um, maybe York could use like a slight bump up, but that like Yone doesn't need a buff. Uh, set is fine. But I mean, like vertical umbral, it was it, it was uh, not a good experience. I think the big problem is when you're playing a linear reroll, you just don't have any front line. It's like this team right here. This is what I played pretty much. I, I didn't find set, but I just played um, six umbral. It was not very good. I managed to scrape a top four, but it was uh, pretty awkward. Play around Wardens early game. Oh, okay, I have a pretty good early game board. Two Warden, two Sniper, two upgrades. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I feel like they need to either adjust the Umbral to make it less awkward for the Hexes, or buff a Lune a little bit. Maybe Silas, I don't know, but yeah. It's still a good comp if you can get it going, it's just sometimes it can be kind of awkward. Garen Kaze, Tristan Agalio, Kane, Lilia. Also, augments on 2 2, not 2 1. Pretty sure I level here because I have two upgrades. Although, wait. Uh, I was thinking of not leveling because everyone else looks kind of strong, but I might as well just save HP. In terms of one cost balancing, I think Garen could use a very slight buff, maybe just like a like a slightly bigger shield or something. Um the best one cost like frontline in the early game I think is like Darius. Or something like that. Built difference. I already have a pretty good board. I don't want to take build difference. Gain a two-star Garen, your strongest Garen's ability now. Grant stacking max health instead of shield. If he has more max health than his target, his ability deals 50% bonus true damage. There's two people with Garen too. And these people are holding Garen as well. And I leveled, so no. Mind over matter, I don't have AP. I just go for buried treasures here. Safe pick. Mm, last whisper. Funny enough, uh, Kogmo can hold 8 AD items because 45 base AD is 0.7 attack speed. It's like pretty similar. I don't need to slam anything yet though. I also have Kale, but I don't know if I want to play Kale right now. Three story Weaver, because so I have an upgraded Kogmo with two sniper. Right now, I'm just trying to play comps that are not played very often, because I want to try out new comps. I know I could just grind meta comps and just climb, climb rank. I think that's kind of boring, though. Love. Okay, this just looks like AD game. Muscle Super IE. But yeah, um... Let's see. I can play two ghostly next turn.
Just depends if I win this fight or not. Berry Treasures is going to give me a pretty big... Um, actually, wait, getting Berry Treasures on 2-2 two, two, as opposed to 2-1. You can see what... Or I guess like, because Carousel is right here, and then you can see what item you want. I guess it's just a, a minor difference, but... I think right here... I can finish my tank item, maybe. I think D-Claw's good. Stone Plate's good. I already have offensive components complete, pretty much, so i probably just go for tank item. This is also an Amumu, which is a Warden. Okay, got taken. Let's go for Stone Plate. Hey, D champion Obviously, like, Kai'Sa is like the default choice I go to here, especially with these items, but I guess I'll just play whatever I hit. Warden. Could also make some fire instead of the other stuff. Ink Shadow Sniper. I need to find Volley Rare, though. Go for some fire, just get anti heal. So, if I find another warden, probably like a Lowie or something, I'll swap over and move the, move the items over to a Moomoo or something. Like, honestly, like, correct choice would be to play Kaisa here, ideally. But... <laughs> okay, you only two. The game is, uh... Like, obvious choice here too would probably just play Yoni, even with these items. But... I, I already played Yoni, he's so, he's so... He's so completely brain dead. Like, I don't... I don't think it's fun. I just want to play whatever... Whatever the game gives me. I know the meta's not balanced right now, but I'll just play her whatever. These are also pretty good center reroll items. It can be good to go for center reroll. But. I don't know. I have to natural some Senna's. Dryad Behemoth. Okay, I guess I'm pivoting over to Behemoths instead of Vorden. Game really wants me to play Yone. <laughs> Maybe four behemoth. By level, I can. I mean, I can play four behemoth right here. <laughs> Caitlyn solo backline. I do have some fire, so I could probably get away with it. This will just be. I don't know, like rage blade or something. Round guard, maybe. An R reroll. 
Yeah, I'm actually glad I played Ford Behemoth here, because this team is actually pretty good against Ford Behemoth. I mean, uh, uh, like, melee carries Ford Behemoth and backline carry. That Caitlyn shot went through the NAR, I don't know how, but... Okay, Augment is on 3-5. Also kind of weird. Sniper. I guess uh, since I'm streaking so, so hard, um, I guess I just play level 9 soup, fast 9. If you were to correctly play, you would probably just go for um, Kaisa, obviously. I keep saying that, but also because Exalted, there's Galio. You can maybe fit in like a some kind of exalted board if you really wanted to. Carousel, I'm gonna go for a chain and probably just make crown guard because I wanna kill this rod. You could say just make Rage Blade in the backliner, but I I'm not a fan of Rage Blade, I think Rage Blade. Is a terrible item in every single set. But this is just how I feel about the, the item. A choice of artifacts. Here's big orn and here's small orn. Oh. This will let me go fast nine even better. I'm just gonna chill here for a little bit. Oh, uh, there's a Yone right here. I think I'm in a position like this. I kind of want him to attack the, the Senna, not the Caitlyn. Shen Carry. <laughs> Shen Carry with Collector. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Maybe it's good. I don't know. Eternal Winter. He's on the Kaelin. I thought he was gonna attack this. Uh, I thought he was gonna attack the Senna. Okay, maybe. I mean, he doesn't have an on event though. Looks like Orin can clean up. Sunfire, Declaw. Okay, I, I got bailed out this way. I didn't know Yoni was gonna go on the the, the Kaelin here. Well, okay, okay. Lesson learned. Play Kaelin on this side. Um, yeah, go for chain. I'm last pick though, I don't think I'm gonna get it. Go for tier maybe. I could make spark, but I'm not playing AP though. Like, Spark is still like a generically good item, even without AP. Okay, Gargantuan is like a pretty, pretty good joke. It's not Shock Treatment. Uh, it's either Capricious or Inspiring. Because I think I'm gonna plan around Fast 9, I could just go for ins Inspiring. I'm gonna level and roll a little here because I have some pairs. A huge way. It's looking like fast nine, yeah. Collector could maybe make me some gold. Also, Lux is gonna kill my Caitlyn. I should have been scouting. Okay, Thrash is saving Caitlyn. Kind of. 
okay. <laughs> I, I should be scouting, I should be scouting. Looks like I'm getting bailed out every fight just because I hit this Ornn pretty early. I guess I'm playing around with Irelia. These seem like pretty good Irelia items. What else can I play here? Um, it's just four Behemoth right now. Should maybe find a better AD carry, but let's see if this Caitlyn can stabilize me or keep keep me strong for a little while longer. Also, yeah, sorry, I've been like kind of rusty on TFD recently, so I if I haven't been scouting as much as I used to, it's just because I I took kind of like a long break from TFT. But uh, also because um. Uh, like, not to flame these players, but I'm in gold, so, like, usually, like, I don't, like, I don't know, I'm not, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean, but it's like, it's kind of like, I don't, probably don't have to scout. Let me see, can I play... Three exalted, maybe, or not exalted, uh, mythic. Duplicator. Ghostly. I'm just gonna chill with this for now. Um, maybe items. Shen reroll still. Let's put items on Hoi. Might as well just make him a second carry. Yep, AP items, put AP items on him. I know that this Shen carry augment's pretty good. I don't know if, like, once again, I don't know how to feel about Collector. I feel like you'd rather just put the other attack speed items on him instead. There's two, it's a better front line. Let's go for a level 9 super board. It looks like this. Um, you have Ribbon, Soraka, Diana, Lee Sin, Wei, Wukong, Rakan. Galio and Irelia. And this Orn is just holding like tank items right now. Just playing four Behemoth. I upgraded Thresh because Thresh is a like pretty good frontliner. I don't even think Ash is better. Like I said earlier, I feel like Ash is just a terrible champion right now. Okay, champion duplicator. Honestly, 
I could just two star Hoya right now if I really wanted to. I should probably just do it. That's a lot of board power, two, two star five cost. And like, why, why not? Like, why, why keep duplicators on your bench? It's my, my, you might as well just use it. Let's keep these guys for the level nine board. Dragon Lord Galio, and that's the comp I'm going for. Okay, unless Caitlyn can snipe the Sevelios, I'm not gonna win this fight. So it's up to Caitlyn. If she can kill the Sevelios. Although it looks like Thrush is gonna body block, maybe. Unless Huey. Okay, Huey, never mind. Okay, I'm good, never mind. I was a little scared if the if the Aphelios ramped up too much. I would have lost this fight. Still streaking, Mr. 100. Uh, I mean, I can make that into Heavenly. Heavenly spots look really good in this comp. I think what I really want right now is Shoujin on Hawaii. Sword is good. I also, I'll take Adaptive Helm as well. They okay, both got taken. Um, Rod. JG. This guy loves JG. Archangels. Maybe if it's Silas too, it's better, but it doesn't seem yeah, this seems fine. Okay, there's a Lux. Just make sure Lux is not opposite side of your carry, because if so, she's just gonna one-shot them eventually, or like whittle them down. Still streaking, Mr. 100. This person hit Yoni 3, that's gonna be annoying. But, capped out legendaries can be Yoni. If you have good positioning, good items. Okay, Lux. Shen carry. Also, it's stage four and there's only two arguments. Because Lily, I messed everything up. Fighting Shen carry. Only two items. Maybe I, I think I'm okay. Okay, this guy's still alive. Thrash. Shields counter true damage. This guy has uh, Archangels. Caitlyn. Oh, it's gonna be close. Wow. Still streaking. So it looks like Porcelain, Arcanist, Reroll, um, Yone, some kind of level 9 board like mine, Nar, Faded, interesting, Shen Carry, and then Aphelios.
Okay, Stalker too. Nice. So I was supposed to play uh this right here. Okay, this is just my board. I'm gonna find Aurelia too. I feel I would feel a little a little more uh, reassured if I Aurelia too. I'm gonna spend all my gold now. Just roll for the board. So I'm missing Lee Sin and Rakan. LDP. LDP seems really broken here. Here's Lee Sin. Sell this. Play this and play uh, Rakan instead of this Thrush. I meant to LDP these two, not these two. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I'm gonna uh, uh, like LDP the the two back two, two back line carries here. I don't think I care about Diana three. Let's just uh make ten gold again. I don't know why I made it. Can I make this into a Mr. 100 game? I'm gonna see if I can. I'm gonna need to hit Irelia too, though. I meant to do this previous turn. Yeah, like this. <laughs> LDP. A really a pair. Good Lux. I don't know. My Hoi does have a LDP. A little bit tankier. I also have Aurelia carry, so maybe I'm fine. Like hopefully. <laughs> Okay, Kale's alive, she's gonna waste another cast. It's looking close. Okay, nice. <laughs> Bailed out once again. I'm probably gonna have trouble against Yone, if I'm being honest. Okay, that's not really a two, but that's a, that's a fortune emblem. I don't want to be down an item. I just got probably war mugs on Galio. Okay, huge. Seven Heavenly Yone. Is my Mr. 100 gonna be ruined? Wait, I can still LDP these two, right? Oh, wait, Kale lets me kind of cheese this positioning. Let's copy Leeson, I guess. Unless I find someone else. 
Okay. Two star recon next turn. Alright, after this, this is a level 10. I really is getting hammered right now. Wait, this guy's on my back line. That's not good. No, my Mr. 100. Unless Galio solo, Cobium. Ugh, there goes my Mr. 100. I was positioning against this Yone, that's why. But I'm pretty sure my positioning was pretty bad in both situations. Should position a little better. Okay, I'm curious. If I just leave my board like this, how does it perform against Yone? I, I'll, I'll find out. Okay, she has Sunder. Um, I mean, this is Shred. Can this be Heavenly Yone? Looking fine. I mean, Yone. Yeah, yeah. Actually. Actually, I don't even think I could beat this. Because <laughs> I, I, I don't have any concentrated damage. Or like, burst damage. Maybe someone else can knock out this player. I don't know. Lee 2. Maybe if I hit Wukong 2, go level 10. It's like something else. I don't know, like a random Udyr. <laughs> or like a little Sandra to randomly stun the... the guy, I guess. Alright, let's go level 10 now. Maybe my wind condition is Galil 3. I already sold some of the Galios that I saw though, or like I skipped over them. I guess I'm itemizing Wukong next. Fighting locks too late to move my units. I mean, last fight I was okay. I think this fight I'll be okay again. Although this time they have Behemoth. Wait, what happened? This oh, wait, wait, I think last time I had the earlier one, right? Okay, I was a little scared of this board, but now I'm not. Oh no. Okay, is this a is this a slow bleed from Yone? Probably. I yeah, I don't think I can beat this. Cause the the previous fight, it was just me getting completely smacked by Yone. Maybe I swap sides with Hawaii and Aurelia. I don't know. And they also swap sides. Let's see. I, I honestly don't even think positioning matters because this guy's just gonna go infinite. Yeah, this guy's dead. There go my backliners. Maybe I should second row Hoi and Irelia. But I feel like that's still kind of coping. So maybe... like... Manipulate the positioning or something. 
like attack attack Kale and oh, okay, so LDP these two. Put the tanks in front of Irelia. Maybe like this? I don't know. Like these two still have LDP, and then just like Yone could just dash on these guys. I don't know. But then he's just gonna dash our Aurelia anyway, right? Yeah. Or maybe put one in the corner, put one up here. I think my yeah yeah, my only win now is Galio 3. <laughs> I don't I don't think I can beat this. Um let's see. Even Shroud. Galio. Wukong 2. Okay, I'm thinking, okay, maybe, maybe maybe like this, I don't know. Position like this. LDP these two. The Kale in the corner. Econ. Keep on econing because like I still want to try to hit Galio 3. He's attacking away, but he dashed away. He's gonna go back though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I yeah, I just need Galio I Can't beat this. I like because the thing people people are complaining about Yone like no counterplay. This is what they're talking about. Like I guess it just doesn't matter how you position. Uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully they, they adjust that next patch. Anyway, um, let's see if I can hit, hit Galio 3. Oh wait, okay, if I, surround th if I survive three more rounds. Or if I find one more. One Galio off. I think it's a it's a two nil loss every fight. Cause uh, okay, the thing is, Hoy's paintbrush thing doesn't count towards PVE. And um, yeah. Okay, Galio. Oh. Wait, does this? I, I, wait, wait. Okay, I, I should LDP this guy then. With the Hawaii because of AP scaling, then I can middle Irelia. And I don't know, Deathblade. <laughs> oh, this guy. Three thousand shield to all allies in range. Did I get bailed out with Galio three? It looks like it. 
Oh, okay, it's surrendered. Alright, well, I mean, all that effort just to be Yone 3. I don't know. It seems pretty, pretty, pretty hard. GG. If I didn't randomly hit a Galio 3 right there, it would have just been uh, second place, probably. But yeah, that's Fast 9. I was at Mr. 100 for a long time, but then I uh, ran into Yone. Anyway, GG.